Hello and welcome to Let's Play Civilization VI, my inaugural episode for Civ VI Let's Plays. Um, as per uh, tradition, I always start playing the Americans as my first Civ, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, we'll keep these settings standard. From the first stirrings of life beneath water, to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest, from this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. And so it is upon your broad shoulders, Theodore Roosevelt, to charge forth and lead your people on their great adventure. Use your military might to give the peoples of your homeland the square deal they so desperately deserve. Surely, you will raise America into the limelight and attract visitors from across the oceans just to see your lands. Bully for you, Mr. President. If that voice sounds familiar, that's Seen Bean, uh, who dies in Lord of the Rings, Game of Thrones, spoiler alert, and uh, Goldeneye, and he dies in this game too, in the uh, opening trailer. So everything works out just fine. Um, okay, so here's your first city. And we have the same settler and uh, <coughs> warrior setup that's been pretty standard in Civ for a long time. So, go ahead and build our first city. Atlantis is this continent? This is also Atlantis. Atlantis. Uh, I have some filters I can look up here. Uh, continent. No. Okay, so this is all one continent. You can see here they're all shaded the same. I have no religion. Uh, breathtaking appeal. I guess these are coastal tiles. So these are very breathtaking settlers. Government. Okay. A lot of these filters aren't uh, showing anything because there's not much to show yet. We'll start with a scout, and we'll research something. Uh, what do I have here? Yeah. Spices, incense, and got wheat here. This will allow me to harvest wheat. So I should go to irrigation straight away. And I do have the uh, time of day uh, thing turned on, so as I play, the uh, lighting will go from day to night and back to day again. Bronze working? Oh, we got a boost to bronze working. It, that's an interesting change to uh, previous Civ games because they will just straight up give you a free tech. In this game, you'll get a boost, it looks like, rather than a free tech, which I guess. Uh, Nerfs, 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 nerfs the RNG component a bit because sometimes you could get super lucky and get like three or four techs from Goody Huts and that would just completely change the tenor of your game. But if you just get half a tech each time, then it, you know, it, you could get still get lucky, but not as lucky. Okay, so I do want to keep my warrior close by because pretty soon barbarians are going to show up. Oh, okay, I'm at the coast. But, hmm. This is one of the situations where should I have settled here to get these or just settle right here to get all these? It's a hard pick. Okay. <clears throat> and I think. The uh, city view is still three tiles out, right? My city radius, one, two, three. So I can grab the crabs, which probably isn't too bad then. 
Yeah. One, two, three. I can grab the sheep as well, eventually. Uh, let's build another scout. Uh, I did play some test games yesterday, uh, so I kind of have an idea of what. I thought Clay must feel happy in the good Potter's hand. What uh, have an idea of what I need to be doing, like in the first ten or fifteen turns, but not much else. Okay, uh, your progress towards foreign trade. Okay, so that's a, a civic that has been boosted considerably. So we found a new continent. So if I were to go here and go continent, yeah, I can see here that this white part is my starting continent, and that part is the red part is not my starting continent. Okay. So um, in the pre-release stuff, I was thinking continents were like contiguous single land masses that you know basically things that we kind of learned in uh, school that. At least mentally, we imagine continents as, as being separate by water. But, you know, in reality, of course, uh, continents in the real world aren't all separated. We classify, like, Eurasia has different subcontinents in there. There's the Indian subcontinent, uh, there's Europe, and then there's Asia. So, um, <clears throat> so this is kind of going more to that. So that's interesting because there's a lot of... Uh, uh, abilities, leader abilities that are tied to continents. So if you're thinking uh, I'm safe because my ability is tied to my continent and they have to go through water to get to me, then it's not necessarily the case because obviously you can have two continents that are linked together, like here. Uh, what continent is this? Rodinia. And this is... Atlantis, so yeah, so all my buffs for my continents, continent buffs will end once once I crosses that. So this is kind of the game uh, <clears throat> mimicking the plate tectonics, um, where you do have land masses that are right up against each other. Enacting new policies. It is not wisdom, but authority that makes a law. Okay, so we can let's do no one plus five against barbarians. And I want to do this. Get some faith in gold. And on the government tab, you'll see that right now I'm a chiefdom, which only gives me two slots. Then later on, I'll get. Uh, upgrade to a four slot uh, government. So these are basically the classical governments, you know, republic, oligarchy, autocracy, and then we move into the Middle Ages. You have your monarchy, theocracy, uh, merchant republic, and then we have the modern governments communism, democracy, fascism. So I, I'm wondering, like, I wonder how ideology plays into this, um, if it's similar to a Brave New World or not, but you can see here that it, it could work just like that, where Governments under communism don't like governments under democracy, and they both don't like governments under fascism, and they all don't like each other, right? <clears throat> uh, let's do foreign trade. Bom dia. É uma honra conhecê-lo pessoalmente. Parece que mentes brilhantes se atraem. Okay. It is an honor to meet you. So we have two ways to greet them. I think this is the negative way, this is the positive way. So we'll give negative, and then they want us to, they want to invite us to uh, their civilization, so we'll say yes. And we got a boost to writing because we met a new Civ. There's Rio. And I also want to do one thing. I can go here. Currently, you have no access level, and we can only see this much. All of this next level access is blocked out. So if I send a delegation, <laughs> and goodbye, I now have limited access, and I can see slightly more things. Uh, 
And as you get more access, obviously, um, you'll see more and more things, including your hidden agenda eventually. And I'll get occasional updates from the game now uh, about what they're doing, if they're cleared the barbarian camp, or if they've attacked someone, uh, or if they establish a new city or not, and all that stuff. So I kept. I, I meant to bring this back, and the warriors are going all way too far now. come back home. There's the Barbarian Scout that I just walked past because I don't know, I was busy talking about the game. Hmm. Uh, okay, so they want to send a delegation to our Empire and we'll welcome them, okay. Hmm. Okay, so they already have their Pantheon set up, which is interesting. We're still trying to get enough points for a Pantheon. I wonder if I can set up my uh, government cards th from the very beginning, or if I have to. Oh, there's a barbarian camp here. Or if I have to uh, <clears throat> wait for the first civic to complete. So I at least wasted 10, 15 turns in the opening there where I w didn't have a government civics. So I have to figure that out on my next playthrough. Okay, so part of Rio is on the other continent and part is on our continent. That's interesting. Interesting setup there. Continue exploring. Uh, I probably want to build a defending unit the next, thing I, next time I upgrade. It's kind of pretty cool. It's nighttime now. Oops. It's nighttime now and uh, you can see the little flickers and the little uh, houses have lights on. who has grit enough to bring about the afforestation or the irrigation of a country is not less worthy of honor than its conqueror. Let's start with animal husbandry next. Oh, let's do writing because we already have that boosted. Okay, so this is not good because the uh, scout just kind of popped up here and found our city and here's a camp that I missed. So, um, let's see here. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can uh, steal that camp from the Brazilians. And I'm gonna keep exploring here. Every nation lives by exchanging. Okay, there's nothing to add. I'm just gonna move to craftsmanship. Oh, crap. <laughs> okay, 
right, so moving my warrior back, because I know the camps this thing. I'm just waiting for my slingers to finish. I'm going to go deal with the barbarians up here. Okay. <clears throat> One uh, Another difference here is from Civ 5 is I can't attack yet with my city. Uh, even though my city has a health bar and everything, I can't attack right away. I need to build a uh, walls improvement and later on I can build a military encampment. Okay. Uh, honor to meet you. Yeah, let's do that. So if I go let's see Chin Si Wang, what does he have? We have no access. Neutral. I have all that. Okay. So they would have met Chi uh, the Brazilians on the same turn as well. Uh, yes, let's do that. And I'll send my trade delegation too. Uh... Okay, we've got our slingers, and here comes your warriors, so. Uh... I'm gonna let them come. Yes. Heal up one more turn, and I'm gonna build a builder to start improving some of these tiles here. Uh, what else do I need to do? Oh, gossip. Uh, I haven't found any city states yet, but I was thinking, can I find? Where's the history of all the things that's happening to this civ? Uh, oh, here we go. Gossip. Yeah, so we actually even heard that the Chinese visited the Brazilians. And then later on, when you're building cities and stuff, we'll get it here, I think. Last 10 turns. Okay, let's keep moving, exploring. I haven't found a city state, that's disappointing. <clears throat> this is kind of funny. It's actually our. People are telling us that they've done something that we just did, so I don't know if that's a bug or intentional, but it's a little weird. <clears throat> but at least we know it's working. Oh, why did I move my warrior here? Let's move him here. I'm going to move my slingers up here, out. out. Uh, heal him up. I'll fortify him, actually. Oh, two warriors. That's not good. Okay. We have recently gained advanced knowledge in city planning. Creating districts in our cities. Writing means sharing. It's part of the human condition to want to share things. Thoughts, ideas, opinions. Yeah, that's why Twitter is pretty famous or popular. Okay. Let me see. Not ideal. I should have healed up my warrior. I don't know what I was doing. <clears throat> I've noticed the uh, barbarians in this game are a lot smarter than uh, previous games. They're more strategic. start exploring again. <clears throat> okay, let's promote him to... I 
interesting. If I upgrade, I immediately get a health bonus. So they took out the health bonus as a upgrade item, but they just give it to you when every time you level up. So I'm going to rest him because there's more units to deal with now. <coughs> Don't want to lose my... Whoa, pulling back, pulling back. this guy. So we got a uh, <clears throat> boost to archery because we killed a unit with our slingers. Okay, we've got our first builder. Plantation. Okay, now what's our next thing? Hmm. I'm gonna build a campus. There are no mountains nearby, which sucks because we do, we're not getting any science bonuses from here. I'll build it here. Sure. Now we can get a pantheon. Uh, tundra. Get holy site. Okay. Well, we have tundra here, right? These are tundra. Yeah, so if I build a holy site here, I'll get... Oh, it has to be adjacent, so for each adjacency bonus, so I'll get plus two here, one, two... I think I'll get the most here, because I'll get one, two, three for here, <clears throat> for my holy site. So if I were to go with that... Here is plus one amenity to cities if they have holy site district adjacent to a river. Divine speak from camps, plus one production from fishing boats, food, so you get increased food from incense, chocolates, wine, tobacco, coffee, and tea plantations. What do I have here? Incense, spices, and cheap. Probably not worth it <clears throat> to go with that. Strategic resources. Here's my silk and <coughs> plus one culture, but again, I only have one spice. God of healing, God of war. It's a good mix of things that are specific and things that are very district specific, like holy sites. Uh, hmm. I feel like I should go with this. Let's go with that. I do really like this map motif, and you can see here, the edge of the map is like this, and you can see the old-timey type map thing. Uh, can I tap? Let's tap this. Okay. If there are no dogs in heaven, and when I die, I want to go where they went. Archer. If there are no dogs in heaven, without craftsmanship, inspiration is a mere reed shaken in the wind. Okay, we're fine with that. Oh. Early Empire. Uh, hmm. Get a promotion and really in range units. Uh, okay. Oh, I keep forgetting. I can't promote and then move a unit at the same time. That's a new thing in Civ as well. Civ six. Oh. <laughs> Meant to improve the uh, wheat, <clears throat> but we can do the resources first.
Oh, we no, we've heard that the Chinese have expanded. Oh, that's not good. They almost killed their uh, archers here. Finish them off. Yeah, we can. Okay, I need to heal up and then attack the camp. Yeah, just my experience with that barbarian camp tells me the barbarian camps in this game are going to be challenging. Oh, that's very nice. The sun glinting off the uh, river delta. A new save? Congo. Built a wonder, Stonehenge. How do I contact these guys? Is it automatic? That's weird. I can see them, but usually in the other games, you can click on the units of um, <coughs> civs you haven't met or just get in sighting range and they'll automatically pop up and say you've met them, but here do I have to wait for the next turn? Builder here, I want to improve that. <clears throat> there we go. Gina Vembanzinga, ye get ye lovanum bot. Getty Monavo, Losambuca, Quatatan Zambi. Getty Luna Vava Mucabulante Muen. Send a delegation to them as well. Okay. Still no city states. It's pretty f weird. Forces of evil become confused while your arrow is on its way to the target. Archers.
Oh, I was gonna hopefully to steal that thing, but it didn't happen. Okay, that sucks. They're gonna pillage that. Can I move, can I move my archers and block that? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna keep my builder in here for a bit. Oh, there's a goodie hut down there. this guy to improve that. I feel like I have to build another military unit. There's probably a barbarian camp here somewhere. First district, we get boosted on state workforce, civic, okay. Now let's heal them up. Gotta go deal with the uh, camp up here. Okay. Pretty sure this is a luxury, so we should have more amenities now from having an extra luxury. Two, yeah. Amenities from entertainment from luxury. Oh, one of these is entertainment. Spices. And what's this? Incense. Does it tell us what it is? I need to figure out what is what, eventually. We are beginning to attract the attention of the great people of the world. Of course, there are other leaders vying for their attention too. Who deserves more credit than the wife of a coal miner? The more specialized districts we construct, the more we will draw in specialized great people to share their talents with our civilization. I ad boosted in bronze working, why not do that? And you can see here, after I improve the farm here, uh, this luxury here and this one, my worker is gone, so they have three charges as the standard. And the improvements are instant, so no longer waiting five, ten turns for something to happen, but they don't stay forever. Which is an interesting balancing act, because you don't I don't think they want us to have armies of these guys running around in a late game that we kind of used to have in older Civ games. Okay, got my archer almost online. Where do I want to go here? Oh, I should explore up there. Next, a 
library. So the library will go into here, the science district, not in here. And that's kind of the district, how the district system works. Actually, I want to move this guy out because my guy, other guy is here healing. And there's the uh, camp I want to take out. here and see if they're going to kill themselves attacking my scout or disc is going to help me Heal him here. Okay, I'm gonna pull him back. No camps nearby, so I'm gonna park him here just to watch the coast. China is expanding, so China already is on their third city. Capital flourishes, but I think it is time that we begin establishing roots elsewhere. Perhaps we should train a settler. Look back over the past, with its changing empires that rose and fell, and you can foresee the future too. Mm, nice quote by Marcus Aurelius. See what we want to do here. Mysticism, two great scientists, military tradition, let's try drama. Do we have yeah that's boosted. Oh no, not yet boosted. Let's see if I can do a boost one. Actually what I want to is get to political philosophy right away because we get our first batch of government here. Yeah, we'll get we'll do state workforce because that's already been boosted. Faster movement on hills and terrain. Also interested in creating a lasting legacy, because bronze will last for thousands of years. Okay, let's attack this guy here. Can I rest up my archers and move this guy back? Uh, what's our next goal? Tech was uh, a whale. Still haven't mined a resource because there's nothing to mine here. I'm gonna build my first settler too. Okay. Going up.
Okay, I think this is a good place to uh, pause our first episode of Let's Play Civilization VI. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time.